Okay, I thought I should explain something that I think uh, Stubblefield did not make clear in his patent. Um, when he speaks of turning this into electromagnet, he talks about connecting wires 5 and 6 to make it an electromagnet. Now, in my experience, when I connect wires uh, 5 and 6, I get very, very little of any electromagnetic effect. I'll show you here. Here's my... Uh, Let's see what this would be exactly. This is my wire uh, 5 and this is my wire 6. So I'm going to connect them here and watch the compass over here. You'll see that there's almost no effect on the compass. Very, very little. Now what I've done is I've gone... Um, he has these two wires marked 10. Um, one is iron and one is copper. If I go from this outside copper wire to this inner iron wire, watch the compass and you'll see there's a really nice electromagnetic effect. You can see it swinging the, um, the west, the W. Now when I connect from the outside iron wire to the inner copper wire, I get a repulsion in the other direction. So if you really wanted to run this little uh, make and break switch motor fast, you could put on two reed switches and pull on one side and push on the other. Now, something I noticed about this effect or about this coil that's really fascinating is that you can connect iron to iron and get an electromagnetic effect which I was really surprised to discover so if we connect iron to iron you can see the uh, the compass move, let me come here closer, it's not as strong but we can really create a nice electromagnetic effect just connecting the iron wire to the iron wire um, the same goes for the copper wire. I'm going to switch over here. Now we're connecting uh, copper to copper. You can see that we can push it uh, the opposite way. So it may be entirely feasible to, uh, in fact it is feasible, I can tell, to create a motor that runs um, from connecting this iron to iron wire to reed switch and the copper to copper wire to reed switch. Um, that might really, really prolong the life of this device because you would actually never be shorting iron to copper. You would just be uh, connecting to the iron itself. Um, one last thing on that, we can actually see this effect on my uh, multimeter here. These stubble field coils, when, when I get them built like this, they seem to generate very little in line of voltage and current. In fact, I've given up trying to build one as a galvanic battery, it's better to try to get as much electromagnetic effect as you can. But it is kind of interesting to see this effect. I'm connecting uh, to the iron wire on this side and the iron wire over here. So here we go. You can see there's no uh, voltage really to speak of, but we do have uh, 5 milliamps. It's pretty amazing. Um, the iron is the, uh, the negative connection if I was to connect the iron and the copper together as a galvanic battery. So, in effect, we're basically connecting our multimeter to the uh, negative terminals and getting 5 milliamps. Now we'll connect um, to the copper terminals and we get uh, just over 2 milliamps. No uh, voltage, but over 2 milliamps. So that's just a really interesting effect that I thought I'd tell you all about. But yeah, the main purpose of this video is to let you know that if you connect uh, wires 5 and 6 and expect to get an electromagnetic effect, you're going to be very disappointed. Um, again, just showing that 5 and 6 creates basically no electromagnetic effect. Connecting one of the outer wires to one of the inner wires, you get a nice strong electromagnetic effect. It is completely around the coil. We will set this little guy over here and you'll see you'll see the effect is over here as well. So completely around this coil we have a nice uh, pulsing electromagnetic field. It is very convenient that we can either push or pull depending on whether we connect to the outer copper to inner iron or outer iron to inner copper. Hopefully uh, this information will spark a lot of creati creative ideas and we can all carry on so let's keep uh, designing and sharing what we what we learn
talk with you later.